So two things. First, we're going to bring Drew up to give you uh, a five-minute overview of these badges because he is the man behind the badges. He knows all about these badges. Um, and so I think it's a good opportunity to, to give a little bit of background to understand what it is we're all carrying around our necks today. So Drew, come on up. And then if you are a speaker before lunch, please come find me in the back outside. Um, thank you very much. Hi. So uh, five years ago, we were here at MIT, and we had an electronic conference badge. So um, I'm Drew. I'm from Osh Park. And we thought uh, for this year it would be fun to have an electronic conference badge again this year. Um, so we have a badge um, with the ESP32 microcontroller, which has Wi-Fi, and then an uh, e-paper e display. Um, so one of, one of the things if you look on the back is a QR code, and that will take you to our documentation website. Um, this badge really came together on Hackadata.io, um, created a project page on there back in the spring when we um, talked to Ashwa about doing a badge for the summit, and uh, a bunch of people jumped in and helped, helped out a lot. Um, main designer of the badge was Alex Camilo. I don't know if he's here yet or not. He's from Worcester, so he's nearby. Um, Michael Welling helped do reviews of it, um, and a bunch of other people helped out as well. Um, and I want to also really thank Artisan Asylum for giving us space to get all these badges together over the last couple of days. Um, so for the ones, I had about 150 names, so I programmed some of them in with names, so some of your badges will already have the names in them. Um, for those of you that don't, um, what we can do is when you put the batteries in, um, there's this button with the paint brushes here, and that'll go into a um, menu mode. And one is change name is the first menu item. Um, oh, I should mention the firmware is actually running MicroPython, um, and I'll, I'll, I can explain a little bit more about it later if you come up to me. Um, but the fun thing is we actually it's very dynamic, and we can load new programs onto it. Um, so if you go into check name, then the next thing it will then display a SSID that you can connect to. So the badge goes into AP mode, and you can connect to it. Uh, and they'll give you a URL, and you go to the URL, and then you can change the name. So it'll ask you for first name, last name, and then you set the name, and then you'll have your name displayed on the badge. Uh, one of the things I noticed on my Android phone is I had to go into airplane mode to keep it from trying to go to the Internet 3 LTE when I try and go to that um, IP address, because it's an internal IP address. If you have problems, just go into airplane mode and then turn on Wi-Fi again, and then try and connect to the AP. Um, but I'll be at the table all day by the entryway there if you have issues. Um, the other thing, too, you might notice in the menu is one of the options is FTP server. What you can do with that is you can write your own MicroPython programs, and they'll be listed once you FTP them over to the badge. Um, so you can write your own programs and run them on your badge. Um, so that's really fun. Um, we do also have an accelerometer on there, which it doesn't do anything by default, but you could write your own MicroPython program to access the accelerometer and do some interesting things with it. Um, a lot of the firmware was kind of developed at the last minute, so um, if you have any interest in helping out, um, you can jump onto the Hackaday.io project page, and we have a chat room on there uh, that we've all been collaborating on. Um, but kind of the main thing to uh, look at is the QR code and the URL listed there. We'll point you to the different GitHub repos and different documentation. Um, and the other thing that's nice is we actually did register it as certified open source hardware, so it's US00133. Um, um, so, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, and I uh, definitely want to thank also Screening Circuits for assembling it so we didn't have to spend months soldering this with like stencils in, in, in a toaster oven. So um, it's very wonderful that uh, Screening Circuits um, sponsored the assembly. So um, hope you all have fun with it, um, play around with it. Oh, the other thing that's in the bag, you all should have gotten a bag with batteries, and there's two PCBs in it. Um, one is a little pro board. So this is actually the header from a lot of DEF COM badges. So it gives you power and ground and then data for doing I2C. So with this, you could solder up your own circuit and then connect it to your badge. Um, and then also in the bag is the header. So you'd want to solder the socket onto the badge, and then the, the headers would be soldered onto the add-ons, and then you can connect them. But the really fun one is we thought, oh, there should be some sort of learn to solder type thing because the badges are assembled. So this is the learn to solder in the shape of the Open Source Hardware Association's logo. Um, so Andy Soa from a hackerspace in Chicago, Pumping Station 1, uh, designed this in KiCad, and I think it came out quite nice. So um, when you solder this together, it's just a resistor and a color changing LED and the header, and you connect it to your badge, you will then have a nice little glowing uh, LED that changes color. So, 
um, kind of a fun little, little add-on there. Um, and then hopefully you'll come up with some other interesting add-ons. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, come by the table up front and we'll help you out. Um, look forward also to seeing what sort of hacks and mods you all might do. So thank you.